You know, Jesus called us to preach the good news and to share the message of life with unbelievers all around us. But there's a lot of reasons why people are afraid and nervous to carry out that command. And what we want to do in this video is to talk about one of the major reasons why people are, are afraid to evangelize. Yeah, and this may surprise people. What we would suggest is the number one reason why people don't evangelize is they're not sure what it is a person needs to do to be born again. You know, a lot of people have just been kind of confused by traditions of legalism. Uh, and a lot of people kind of get the impression that you need to be a theologian to evangelize. They feel like they need to give all kinds of information about God and that intimidates them and so they, rather than look foolish, look uninformed, they don't say anything. But the truth is, the message of life is very simple and you shouldn't be afraid to share it. Right, if, if we simply tell a person a verse like John 3.16, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life. We've opened up the doors of communication. It's almost like Jesus saying to the woman at the well, give me a drink. It leads to some provocative thought because if you stop there, they're going to go, what do you mean everlasting life? What do you mean just believing? It can't be that simple. And what does it mean God gave his only begotten son? And you can talk about the cross because obviously in the two previous verses he'd been talking about as Moses lifted up the serpent so would the Son of Man be lifted up and you could say look in light of the cross Jesus is taking care of the sin problem so that if we simply believe in him we have everlasting life. Basically if you know a verse as simple as John 3 16 and I have kids and I'm teaching them those verses and they're able to understand it. If my kids can understand it. And how it, old are your kids? And my, well, my daughter is turning four. If a four-year-old can understand it, you can understand that. And if you can understand it, then you can explain it to other people. Actually, being simple-minded, approaching your faith simply is not a bad thing in evangelism. It's a good thing because the message of life is simple and you don't want to intimidate unbelievers with all kinds of information. But if you just share with them just what Bob was saying, that there's one condition of everlasting life, just to believe in Jesus for it. And if you meet the condition, the consequences, you have everlasting life and the guarantee is that you'll never ever perish. If you can get those three things down, then you're ready to be an evangelist. Keep it simple, Saint. Use the KISS method. Find a passage like John 3.16, John 5.24, Ephesians 2, 8 and 9, whatever you're going to use, state it clearly, and then let's see what the person says about that verse. And remember always, ultimately, it's not about your powers of persuasion. It's about the power of God's Word to change people's lives to enlighten them and to bring them to faith. Don't trust in yourself. Don't trust in your own wisdom, Paul said. Trust in the power of God's word. And when you do something as simple as John 3.16 and you explain it clearly, that's just allowing God's word to do amazing, powerful things and transforming people and bringing them to faith and giving them everlasting life. That's a terrific point. And I might just close by saying some people have memorized 10, 15 minute presentations that have little, if any, scripture in it. If you give someone scripture, you give them a clear verse of scripture, you've given them something the Holy Spirit can use to work in their lives. Try it, it really works. Mm -hmm.